completely forget that light and get so caught up and distracted into the, the form relationships and so on and so forth. And another thing, too, is I need my special friends, my special love partners, my special people in my life because the flip side is is that there are going to be those persons that are not supportive of this construct that I've made. They they seem to see the whole construct in a different way. You know, I, if I'm my part of my construct is pro-life, and and I feel very strongly about that in the on the abortion issue. And and, and another person, seeming person, seems to be very vehemently pro-choice. Then uh, there's a conflict there. This is not a friend. This is someone who's seen as weakening, attempting to weaken my values. One of us has to be right, kind of ego says, and uh, I don't need to put up with or, or be around, or, or I need to convince that other person that they're wrong, because I'm right. You could apply that to any issue that you can think of. But ultimately, it gets played out in uh, in relationships, and that I find the the special friends, the people that will agree with me, surround myself with people that will agree with me that have somewhat, somewhat of shared values, and to uh, distance myself, segregate myself from those people that that have different values, whether it's different skin color, different um, values, different religious, ethnicity, you know, so on and so forth. I'm remembering what I brought up yesterday that I got in touch with, that this whole thing of belonging and wanting to feel that I belong, you know. And so, you know, the belonging can be, you know, I belong as, as part of this family. Mm -hmm. I belong as part of this uh, marriage or couple. I belong as part of this team, as part of this company, mm -hmm. as part of this church, as part of this organization, as part of this country. Mm -hmm. You know, it just goes on and on and on. But but I was just looking at how, how strongly the deceived mind wants to be associated with something, connected mm -hmm. to something. And, and whatever that something is that it connects itself to is always something that supports and uh, buys into the construct of itself that it's made up. Yes. So, it, you know, it's self-perpetuating. Mm -hmm. It's very important because other than that, the only recourse would be to, get, to turn within and to start to question everything. To question one's own values and to, to start to dig deeper, you know, and to go into the mind, which, they, of course, the ego will counsel, don't do that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you'll be obliterated, you know, you'll, you'll be destroyed if you go back to the beginning. The assumption, the ego's assumption that the separation is real, it has occurred, you have usurped God's power, if you go back towards that light, you know the ego counsels that he, you will pay for what you've done. And it's imaginary. Mm -hmm. It's beneath the, the ego, the belief in separation, of course, is the, the awareness and the joy of it's impossible. You can't separate from your father. You can choose not to be aware of truth, but you can't change Truth. Truth is. So that that's with relationships, um, kind of running it through that way. What was the other? Um, financial. Yeah, it gets, finances, um, in a sense in this world, money is like a, an, an interchangeable medium of, um, of value of the world. It's like, um, Every, every split or fragment in mind seems to have a different construct of the world, but there has to be some, as the ego would counsel, some segment of unit of measurement for exchange 
from the external goods and so forth, and goods and services and so forth, and, and money, you know, is, uh, is a symbol of that, and that's why it's so valued. Um, it also, if it gets back to the subject of the split, if I believe I'm a person, and as you said earlier, I believe I have rights and uh, certain things. If I believe I can can go, just that I'm a body and I'm a person, I can go places and see things and um, achieve things and accumulate things and all these things that are part of the construct, then money is seen as very, very, very valuable as far as the constructs go and as far as the forms go. That's very high on my hierarchy of, of li a list of, of forms because it's so interchangeable, because it can, it's believed that it can bring me what I want. And when I say what I want, that gets back to what I want defined as a person. That's where the identity confusion or yes. comes in again. Yes. So, there, so in a sense, if I define myself as a person and a person is, is being associated with certain forms and things, be they, you know, climates or possessions or people or positions, status, that that money then is very equated with my worth. And there is much fret and worry about finances because it seems to impinge on my value. It, 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 it gets down to my identity questions. My identity becomes very tied up in the money because money is such a symbol, an interchangeable symbol, that it represents lots of things. I can get lots of things with it. So there's, you know, enormous pressures and strains and, and things that, that uh, the mind goes through with financial problems. It still comes back to that conceptual problem, construct of subject and object. That when that dissolves, obviously there there is no need of money, and because there is no need of the world. When it's only the construct yeah. self that has a need for money or anything money can buy. Okay. That's what you're saying. The construct is a construct in lack.